I'm just popping some um, I've only got this bit of whipped caramel left so I'm just popping some on top of these caramel cakes but I'm only doing a little a little swirl <sighs> the boys have broke up the two older boys have broke up Frank is here Alan's pulling the leg you don't realise I'm filming in here Oh, these little uh, caramel muffins are delicious, especially with a bit of whipped caramel on them. I won't have enough to do them all, I don't think. Don't need a lot on though, because it's, it could be quite sickly with a lot on. And one of the boys don't like the topping, they just like the cake, the plain cake. There we go, that'll do. It's a bit of a mess, but never mind. There we go. Caramel, whipped caramel topped caramel muffin cupcakes. Or cup, cupcakes and muffins, whatever you want to call them. A nice little treat. And do you know what is nice with these? If you warm them in the microwave, the caramel starts to melt. The cake's lovely moist and hot. Pour cust put warm custard over them. Mmm, just like a caramel sponge pudding. Delicious. Just pop them in a, on a board and stick them in the fridge. We can have one after the tea. They're coming here for the tea tonight, the boys. I'm making a large vanilla cake, Victoria sponge cake, in these silicone cake pans that I got from New Look in the sale. That one says, life is short, make it sweet, which is correct. And I'm lining them with my Carlex spray, which you can get on Amazon for $9.99 and this one says bake the world a better place true I love that because baking is good therapy for anybody nice to just shut yourself away in your kitchen with your oven on and bake the pride that you feel once you bake a cake yourself is brilliant even if you don't eat any of it yourself you just love seeing other people's faces light up when they enjoy your bakes so I'm making a large Victoria sponge so for this, I'm going to need 480 mils of whole milk with a teaspoon of vanilla extract. This vanilla extract is from Tesco, Tesco's own Madagascar, and it's really good, really strong. You don't really need a lot. Add that to your milk. I think they're eight inch those uh, baking pans. I think they're eight inch. Here we go. Oh, I need to fill my tubs up. ounces
20 ounces, which is 560 grams. from Aldi six ounces hundred and seventy grams of butter stored margarine perfect for cakes from Aldi and little one pound fifteen. I'll discuss the sugar. And I'll just plain flour. The pantry. Can't beat it. All the ingredients. I love Aldi for baking stuff. And you want 480 grams of flour. I use plain for this recipe, but you can use self-raising. If you're using self-raising, 480 grams, which is Seventeen pounds. If you're using self-raising, just use two teaspoons of baking powder. If you're using plain like me, use two tablespoons of baking powder. Two eggs off Alan. He always tells me though, he always says, Have you given me the eggs back? <laughs> Pop all your eggs in with your milk. 